How to stop feeling like a human doorman. Okay. This problem is twofold. I know this because I fall into these traps constantly. I I want to do things for people. I want to help people. I like making people's living situations more comfortable. And I like results. I like getting things done. So when someone's like, I'm working on this, immediately I'm like, boom, I know how to help with that. If I don't know how to help with that, I'll let you know I don't know. But I think maybe we can find resources over here. When you do things for other people, and then you get frustrated because they don't notice or they don't give you anything back, that frustration's inside of you and it's your problem. I will explain why. If you ever gave someone a gift, anyone, you give someone a gift, how, what kind of uh, intentions do you have when you're giving that gift? What kind of outcome do you want from giving that gift? If you give a gift, are you expecting something in return? I hope not, because then you're a crappy gift giver. When you give a gift, you need to give it and expect nothing back. You need to give it because you want to give, because you want to do something for others. And that's it. Some might say that's what love is. It's serving. You serve other people. If you were to love someone and they don't love you back, you don't hate them. (laughs) Some teenage boys might might be really frustrated in that situation. (laughs) But I love her and she won't love me back. It's part of growing up. But you you don't give someone love and then expect something back. That's not love, that's manipulation. And so doing something nice for someone, doing something helpful for someone, doing something good for a house you're living in, you shouldn't expect the other people in that house, you shouldn't expect the people you've given that nice thing to to do something nice or give something good back. You should do it because you want to do it. That's your fault for feeling like a doormat because you went out of your way to do something and then you're like, where's my praise? Where's the reciprocation? That's not how that works. That wasn't promised. You decided to do something. Take responsibility for that. If you want to do it again, do it again. Good job. You're doing something nice for people. You're doing something to make the world a better place. You don't need a pat on the back. You need to acknowledge that you're doing something well and good. Does that make sense? All you're doing then is is like a, a cycle of like, yes, I'm a good person. I do something good. Oh, no one noticed. Oh, I can whine. Keep going. <laughs> Repeat. You're addicted to that cycle of feeling crappy. Move past it. Like, don't, don't keep beating yourself and the people around you up because you're like, look how great I am. Oh, no one knows how great I am. Eh. Gross. And I'm saying this to myself too. I do the same thing, okay? The second part of that, the reason you're frustrated It's because you're trying to make the world a better place. You're trying to do the things that you think a person in society should do. If everyone acted the way you act, society would flourish, continue to... to, to, uh, Society would not collapse. That's what I'm saying. And so when you do something out of your way to help another person, or to do something good for the world, whatever it is. And let's say it makes no dent. (laughs) Like, you go out and clean up trash in a neighborhood. And then a few days later, the neighborhood's dirty again. You're frustrated. You're you're like, why'd they do it? Where'd this effort go? Why even exert myself? It's frustrating because you're idealistic. Because you want the world to be better. And along with the first reason where you want that pat on the back, you're like, but I I did something good for the world. 
Didn't the world get better? Yeah, for X amount of time, sure. But there's also 7 billion people on the planet. If they're not all doing the same thing to, to make society thrive and continue, then it's not going to thrive and continue on one person's efforts. You want the world to be a better place, and it won't be a better place until you make it a better place. So you got to keep going. And, and you're, you're getting down on yourself because you realize how big of a task that is. One person isn't going to be able to do it. It's too much. So you did dishes for the house. Woo! <laughs> There's more dishes this week. Good job. Every day. It's the same idea no matter how you scale the issue. Like, imagine the mindset of where you're coming from. You're like, I did dishes this week. Or I did dishes today. Whatever it is, right? But they never do dishes. Say it's a roommate. Okay. Dishes still need to be done. It's still an issue. So good on you. Noticing that you know, the, not everything in the world is perfect. Noticing that some things could be fixed or improved. Good job. Good job for trying. And, and trying to do something to help others. But it's your idealistic mindset that is then filling you with frustration, dread, anger, whatever afterwards because you notice a problem you try to fix it it doesn't get fixed and then you give up nah what hero gives up really think about that did Samwise give up when he was destroying the one ring forget Frodo he doesn't count Sam is a true hero no the answer is no if you choose to do good things for the world for your house for your lover for your family, whatever, choose to do those things and continue doing them. Because that's the only way things will get better is if you keep working on it. And as you do good things for others, as you give gifts and love and acts of service, don't expect anything back. Ever. Ever. You're doing it out of love out of service to others. If you follow those two things, you keep doing good things and you don't expect anything back, you will not feel like a doormat. You will feel like a purpose, like a person with a purpose. <laughs> Embrace that purpose. Enjoy making the world a better place. Sleep well at night. Thank you for listening. And if I may.